Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time we learned about the, uh, the new hover mechanic in the gliding, which indeed only seems to have been implemented in, uh, well, starting with this one at least. We also accidentally incinerated a frog and got told by a, f a fairy that, uh... Specifically, that Sparks uh, gets darker the uh, the more injured I am. Last time, I just sort of uh, remembered the color, uh, what's the word, progression, but uh, I'll be damned if I can remember exactly what it was now, so maybe I'll just try to remember that. Something tells me I'll be getting very familiar with it again, but you know, hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. Hello, Elora. Goodbye, Laura. How are they meant to get over there? They don't have wings. Here we are. Idle Springs. Actually sounds very relaxing. Oh. Just immediately. Clearly, that guy was using the wrong chisel. Thought it sounded like, uh. Yeah, that, okay. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Are you feeling okay, Bob? Because that sounds kind of nuts. I mean, I can see there's one right there, but you know. Why would you make those? Has this happened before? Yeah. What difference they can make just by changing a few colors and the way the eyes look. I do like the marshmallow on the stick, though. Oh! No. Maybe these goblin dudes have the right idea. Oh! I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Thought it was gonna talk to me! I mean, every other goddamn thing does. The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. Oh, okay. Ow. Why, hello there! Uh, I can't actually talk to this guy. Sure! Ooh, I know this one. Metal ones can't be heated, so I have to charge this guy. Are you using that guy as a shield? No. And you were just watching that happen. Shame is Shish Kebab also disintegrated. Looks kind of good. Yeah, definitely sensing a theme of this place. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Okay, sure. Is 
Thank you for opening the door, my dude. And, uh... Thanks to Zilly for the- Hey, that, that guy's not even going near a door! That's the helpful tutorial message, I mean. No, you don't. I should be asking Spyro and Sparks how they've been. Oh. Honestly, the last few months have been kind of rough for me, but you know. Oh, not that rough, at least. Are, okay, I was just going to say, are you going to stop? I mean, it felt like that a few times, but I don't think I've actually done that. No, no. Open sesame! So in the original game, when you killed an enemy, the first time you kill any enemy in the game, they drop a gemstone. Then, uh, if you kill them after that, they just drop a little... Well, I guess I called them orbs, although now orbs are something else. But, uh, when you collected enough of them, it gave you a one-up. Except those made, like, a circle around the, 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 the life counter up there. And these are just counting up and a number in the middle, so I have no idea what those are for. Wouldn't mind a tutorial about that. To aim the camera left or right, use the right stick. Okay, I guess it does turn itself, uh... If you keep running in the same direction long enough. I'm not touching the right stick at all right now. I mean, I guess they would have to have controls like this, you know, because, again, they, uh, the player might not have been playing it with an analog stick. That was an option back in the day. Okay. Ow. How dare you? Well, I can go find out if those uh, butterflies are what I thought they were. I think there was some in here. Aha! Oh, fuck! Those are one-ups? Shit, man, I should go look. What? 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 Oh, right! I forgot about that! Yeah, that's a functionality. Uh, like, I think that was an unlockable ability originally. I'm trying to remember. I went over this in the first game. I did, it's been a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You click in the left stick, and uh, Sparks points towards the nearest gem you haven't collected. Whether it's in a chest, or in a person, or what. There's one in a chest. Who are there gem... Uh, gems. Butterfly things out here. Oh, hey, those look like... Hmm. Well, those are definitely fish. I don't know if they're evil fish or not. Let's find out. No, they're just fish. Okay. I thought that was a penguin down there for a moment, but no, that's just another bottle. But a different kind of bottle, so not the one I'm looking for. What am I even talking about? 
Jump cut. Yeah, sorry about that. I just needed to make an adjustment to something. See, I look up at that and I can't help but, you know, mentally think, because uh, that's a really weird way place to put a waterfall. Or rather, that's a really weird place to build a mouth, but you know, whatever. Charging, not the answer. Oh, right, yeah, that's what those guys are for. Well, it's not what they're for, that's what they do. I should be very careful about that. That guy was not born to open a door for Spyro the Dragon. you take the slightest amount of damage and sparks look like you've been all beat up. See, for a moment there I thought those were the wooden idol ladies. Oh, that worked after all. How weird. But no, I guess that guy was not Pygmalion because they just seem to be real. Sorry, I just got distracted by wondering what the hell that guy's deal is. I'm trying to think, why does the ground look like that? It's all glowy and weird. Uh, sub. I don't think I can talk to them. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's right! Yes, yes. Uh, the yellow butterflies heal you, the blue butterflies give you a one-up. Every ten fodder creatures you kill, they would drop uh, one blue butterfly in the original. That is not the same power-up as before. Interesting! It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Was it not active before? Also, how do you know my name? Use the supercharged power-up. Charge through the stone pedestals. I find it very ominous to consider the fact that, uh... They're already introducing Supercharge, which I don't think even came into it until, like, World 3 last time? I had some real, real trouble with Supercharge jumps in the last one. That's why I'm not uh, trying not to sweat the fact that I'm not in love with this hover mechanic. You're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Oh, thanks, Offbrand Jan John Goodman. I don't know it was the voice. Okay, that was cool. What talisman did I collect? A Jade Idol. Magic pick. Oh, they're like little mini achievements. 
Lizard Hunt and Gem Lamp Flight Outdoors. Alright! First, let me just find out why I can't just take this guy out. Oh, he's fucking fireproof. And invulnerable. He's not even attacking me. In fact, I'm not convinced he's evil. But whatever. I had to adjust my hand there. It was not on the spot for the A button. How embarrassing. Nice backflips. Ow. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Thank you. Now, now, ladies, there's plenty of Spyro to go around. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know, I just suddenly realized I was surrounded by the ladies who were throwing their hands in the air in jubilation, and that immediately popped into my head. I remember when they were developing this game, there was a, a video clip going around, like a preview thing, of, uh... Yeah, they were showing off the graphics in the Reignited Trilogy with this uh, promotional clip, and it was the bit from this game where Spyro meets uh, Elora. I think she said her name was. I remember this because, uh... Well, apparently a lot of people have, uh, really nostalgic memories regarding the line, I'm a fawn, you dork. I didn't even remember that until, uh, she said the line. Ha! What's up here? More gems, looks like. You know, I guess I stand corrected about that. It isn't actually, uh... You know, a one-to-one -one experience across all the games. You know, with the swimming and the hover and the everything. I feel like that guy is supposed to open his mouth or something, and it's supposed to make a platform for me, but... How do I do that? Oh, maybe that's what those are for. How many gems do I have on me? Enough for that swimming lesson if I go back. I find it interesting that the game would start me in, uh... Well, one of the side regions instead of one of the hub worlds. It's very interesting to me. I don't know if it means anything, it's just interesting. How am I doing? No, not this one. For this. Ooh, that's a lot of gems! That is some problems. What 
am I supposed to do here? Find, like, giant baby toy things and put the right pieces in the right shapes? Frickin'. Although that just reminds me of that video where uh, the guy discovers that everything can fit in the square hole. Cutscene! <laughs> I wonder if that's total or just what I have on me. No, it has to be total. It was adding up. Nice! Hello again. Well, the timer did go. So, uh... I'll just call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. When we learn how to swim underwater. And maybe head off to Colossus. Later.